Hello everyone, this is Badar Boy and we're back playing Hot Fire 4 as now the Arab Republic of Egypt. It should be actually Republic of Egypt uh, right now. As the Republic of Egypt in Cold War Hot Fire 4. And we're on our way to becoming the United Arab Republic. But um, I know last video was kind of awkward a little bit in the beginning and the ending and with the whole using the music mod thing I think I will not use music in the mod anymore because uh, imagine that I got a copyright strike for every single song I use I mean even the Lebanese national anthem somehow Universal Studio Studios or to be precise Universal Music claims it yo bro, um, the Lebanese national anthem was made was written by uh, the poet Rashid Nakhli and the uh, and the music was composed by uh, Wadiah Sabra. Uh, how the hell does the Lebanese national anthem, whose both writer and composer died so long ago, be claimed by corporation in the United States of America? It, it, it doesn't make a single atom of sense. But anyways. Um, so, uh, for the remainder of this video, and probably the series, I will be only playing and not narrating what's happening. Because I'm leaving that job to the other me. So, this is Badar Boy the YouTuber, and now you're gonna meet Badar Boy the Egyptian general, the Arab general in general, and... <laughs> Arab general, uh, that, that's... Yeah, that's funny. Um... Anyway, so I'm going now, and hello everyone. This is uh, Badreddin Zakaria, and no, this is not the real name of the YouTuber Badar Boy. This is just a name I adopted that's kind of similar to Badar Boy. So yeah, Badreddin Zakaria, General Badreddin Zakaria for that, and he just overthrew the corrupt king. The fat fucker himself, Farouk, and we have established a republic under, of course, our first president, Marshal Muhammad Aghib. Now, of course, brothers and sisters, we cannot let the new republic fall into chaos, and that's why we're establishing the RTC in order to preserve this new, in order to preserve and safeguard this revolution. Now, gonna wait till our new our new command is established. Now, of course, now with this glorious revolution, the the Arab world will be will shift. Now, for as you can see, um, as you can see, nationalism now begins to spread. Already Syria is nationalist. These nationalists are pan Syrian, but our kind of nationalists. Are we here? We are a pan Arab nationalist, of course. Well, not quiet pan Arab. We are Egyptian nationalists, and we just took down our king. And as you can see, all of this area, yeah, one by one, these kingdoms will fall, the monarchies will fall, and we will establish revolutionary republics. This is not. Just um, a one-time thing. Oh, this will signal the beginning of the change of the entire Arab world. Now, um, of course, in order to do that, we need to inspire the free officers all around, all around the uh, the Arab world, to revolt against their monarchs. Some will revolt. In the late 50s, some in the late 60s, some will try and unfortunately fail. <laughs> we are here to change that. Also, um, so I think they will draw. Oh, please don't tell me they went with uh, the reign of Taban. Affirms control and uh, abdication of Tana. 
Um, to be honest, hopefully they go with the abdication of Talat, reign of Hussein. Oh no 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 no! We want Talal to stay in power, of course. I mean, King Talal. They 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 say that King Talal is is crazy. I believe otherwise. Also, as our revolution has been established and accomplished, we need to spread our influence throughout the Arab world. That's why we need to become the main influencer. <laughs> the main influencer. Jordan. We are not guarantee their independence, but we're gonna influence them. Now we're their second biggest influencer. And we need... We need to start influencing... Start influencing Iraq, of course. Already the second biggest influencer, Syria. How about Lebanon? We are third. Now Syria is more of our priority. I'm not gonna dump any more influence point into them because they will join me eventually. But what I'm gonna do is I am gonna I am. Oh, not I, we, as the free officers, of course, we're gonna influence the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. Now I know one man who's gonna be more than happy to help us. Yep. He's gonna be more than happy to help us topple the Saud regime. Of course, we need to advance our weaponry, because how shall we protect glorious Egypt, our beloved land? We don't have the weapons necessary to protect it. And of course, to take the revolution, we need not only to combat British influence, but also preserve our national our, our national sovereignty. Hopes for clear unification and yeah, today as it's coming in. Yeah, um, I am not gonna uh, really touch on that one. Ship missile. Air to air. Anti ground missiles. Ballistic weapons. You can actually research ballistic weapons, but uh, we are more grounded to the ground right now. We have no ambitions in uh, right in the early morning. All right. Of course, we need to research computers because computers are gonna be going to become the future. And unfortunately, in the Republic of Cuba, Batista took over. And the RCC has been established. And now, we're gonna abolish the 1923 Constitution. Because the Constitution of 1923 is old and corrupt. It was only made to calm down the public. We must now the old constitution and begin drafting a new one. Now it's kinda a little bit weird that it takes 50 days for us to do so because it's not that hard of a thing to do to be honest. It's approximately me, approximately uh, approx a month. Now Days each. Hmm. Not like this. Um, 
I think we're gonna complete these by re reach this by 1955. Um, so. And you know what? Let's completely remove the British. And we have 69 political power. Isn't that funny? Now the world turns up tight. We have Anything that will help us? Fortification build up. Oh yeah, we need to start building up. Yeah, 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 yeah. 6th of July? Alright. Alright, because we definitely need more military factories. Now let's take a look at what's happening around the world. The Korean War, as you may see, has been won by the North. It um this I cannot be established. We have only 13 civilian factories. I see we should build more. We shouldn't. Yes, we should. Of course, we should. A couple more won't be bad. All right, hold on a second. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. It's twirls, twirls, twirls. Where's it? Box. The one you know. Turn. No. Oh no. Jerusalem is not your capital. Jerusalem is the immortal undivided capital of the Palestinian nation and the heart of the Arab cause. You can never, never claim it as your own. I mean, I laws of everything that exists in the world, you shouldn't even exist to start off. But our, but our failure, our, all, our failure, will not stop us from destroying you all together. So how, I, how do we get rid of the United Kingdom? This opportunity. Our only problem now is, oh, yep, that is being invaded. And the People's Republic of China. Big for them. Of course, we're gonna have to battle American influence in the country to be totally free, dependent, and free. What else can we do? We can also invest.
go. Oh wait. Um. So I've been investing in both of these. Uh, he am investing. Wait. Did I stop investing? Wait. I'm investing in both of the. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Fuck. Fuck. Um. <laughs> uh, uh. What exactly fucking happened right now? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I, 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 I didn't, I did, uh, no, oh, oh, um, buddy, I think, I think we have discovered we can go back in time. So, using, uh, Time travel abilities. We went back in time before we took a stupid decision. So, um, this lovely, lovely, um, we are industrializing this place, and yep. Let, let's see. Let's see. This one's going to put you this on. Alright, so, just gonna invest for this. I have like 125 in investment. So we have abolished the old constitution. Now we're gonna sideline the pro Soviet officers. The pro Soviet officers are nothing but a liability. Secure a peaceful, uh, peaceful, secure a peaceful transition from a scurp communist influence. Change the popularity of Marxism and Leninism, and we can gain more experience at the cost of army experience unfortunately huh. let us see what we can do just increase our or um dependence and sovereignty of course we need to continue in points. We have more influence in at least one of these countries. So now we're the main influencer in we can also manipulate that products. Influence them. So we can All right, we'll see what we can do later on. Now with the main influencer in Libya.
So as I was saying, uh, yes. This is bullshit. Now what's the situation of this West Canal? Is it... Oh, it's been industrial. The shame. Truly, the shame. Right. Are we gonna research now for the development of our glorious beloved Egypt? Resources. We have more electricity. To work on. This is good. This is incredible. We are upgrading our weaponry by the day. We have one. We have one direct gun each day. And now we have enough technology to already research. Research Jet Multi Roll. Hmm. Now we need we need to keep building up this. Research jet planes because you may never know what your enemy has. Video of Taipei The Republic of China and Taiwan and Japan has finally declared peace. The delay in peace negotiation was due to neither Japanese governments attending the Treaty of San Francisco because of the Chinese Civil War. The United States is said to have ex exerted major pressure over Japan in order to make them sign a peace conference. The text of the treaty is similar to the Treaty of, S of Francisco's. But it has been edited. It has been edited. Fifth Republic of China. The treaty does not mention who the true owner of Taiwan should be. It instead, primarily deals with Japanese claims and nationals. At least now we know for sure that the Japanese won't launch a surprise attack on Taipei. To be honest, there's a. And now I'm speaking as not the general. Uh, Badreddin Zakari or Ahmed or whatever he called himself, but I'm talking about I'm talking as bad about the YouTubers. So there's an ultranationalist plot during the Korean War, and there's a coup d'etat declare the return of the empire. a way to just go full against the United States and everybody else because I mean Germany West Germany can restore their bike I am not getting but I think maybe this path will be removed it was before for East Germany they removed it now they placed it in West Germany. Let, let me just see it Oh, it is. This is the um, fascist path for. Germany and 
now we are back I am back as the general of course who is selling the king's possession selling the king King Farouk's possessions will me will net us extra money and prove to the Egyptian people that the government of the new republic will be different from the corrupt and discontrolled monarchy of course the money we can get by this possession will incredibly incredibly increase our uh, our our treasury and um, let us try to dust I need to just really make sure because we have have 125 our budget right now so I I think we can maybe upgrade oh no we can't all right all right side so I think I think there's something messed up over there and it's be fixed of course so again we're going back in time everybody and now yeah here we are at Um, his Majesty Giada Saura or the or the how do I did the center of the leadership of the revolution uh, along these lines along these lines so of course we're gonna choose selling the kings Possessions, but I think it is uh, we had like enough jumping back to space and time twice for one video. We had enough of that, and um, well, thank you all for watching this one. Next one, we will continue on our path and establishing our beautiful Egyptian Republic. See you all, people, in the next one, and remember. I am still the general BRB. See you all.